Water hyacinth is one of the worst invaders in the world and in South Africa is especially quite bad. My name is Matt Paper or Matthew Paper. I work currently for the CBC as a research assistant and I work for the water weeds program at the CBC focusing on water hyacinth. The water hyacinth is a beautiful plant. There's no mistaking, it has a gorgeous purple fluorescence. I mean, bright purple, you can see it from anywhere, from meters away. Um, and this very vibrant green and glossy leaf. Water hyacinth has large negative effects on water flow, water quality, um, uh, ecosystem uh, structure within a system. So oftentimes you'll have specific fish, specific plants that occur in an in a artificial lake or an impoundment or even a river and water hyacinth will first off cover the entire surface and it actually changes the water chemistry of the water itself and so killing off everything below it. So it'll kill off um, local fish, local fauna and even native plants to that area. So if you have a single little crown or a single petiole of water hyacinth with just a little bit of root, that will take up and it will just grow and grow and grow. So what I do is um, I have research specifically on an insect called Cornops aquaticum, which is a beautiful looking grasshopper, um, multiple colors, this beautiful green and black. And what it does is it feeds quite extensively on water hyacinth and only on water hyacinth oh, and other agents that we have. And then on each leaf, you look at the different types of damage. So we have a couple agents there at the moment, but Cornops has a really specific damage where it, if you imagine the, the top of the leaf, it kind of shaves the very top layer of the leaf as a nymph. And then when it gets to an adult, it actually eats the entire leaf. It's a continual release, but the cost to benefit ratio is, is far exceeded than what you'd get for spraying. Um, and the fact is that it's a release and you let it go and it will do its own thing. That's the, the benefit of it is that it, it once a uh, population has established in the location, it, it kind of, it, it does its own thing and, and, and it feeds specifically on what it's meant to do. Nahoon River, which is an incredibly impacted um, system. There was a geria, which is a new and submerged weed. There was water hyacinth and we released our insects there to see what would happen and so Part of the survey was to lay down transect lines, so it's just an imaginary line that you set up through water hyacinth and every time what you're doing is you're laying down a quadrat of 0.25 meters so that you can scale it up to what you imagine the whole system will be like. If you can replicate a small subset enough times, you'll be able to get an idea of what the whole system is doing. And you count the number of plants, the number of leaves, the number of flowers. 35 is socially impactful and environmentally impactful in a positive way um, and I think it's important that people understand that anything they do as long as they have that mindset towards creating positive reflection on their environment and their surroundings, even if it's small, makes a big difference. <laughs>